Hi, my name is Sam Colgan. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about the future of natural gas. But first, it's important to know a little bit about natural gas and what role it plays in the economy and environment of our country. Natural gas forms during catagenesis, which is the conversion of organic carrageens to hydrocarbons as they undergo intense heat and pressure during an extended period of time. It migrates through porous rocks until it reaches a rock formation that prevents its movement and accumulates there. Natural gas consists mostly, mostly of methane, a single carbon atom with four hydrogens attached. Natural gas has been used since 500 BC when the Chinese used bamboo pipes to extract it from the ground. In the late 1700s, the British used it as a way to light street lamps, and shortly after the turn of the century, it was used in the same way in the US. Until 1885, natural gas was mainly a lighting source. But when Robert Bunsen invented the Bunsen burner, it became an effective heating and cooking fuel. Production and use of natural gas has increased ever since. Methane itself has a very low boiling point at, a, at negative 161 degrees Celsius. And its heat of combustion is just under 56 megajoules per kilogram. Today, natural gas is used as a heat source for generating steam in order to create electricity, as a source of fuel in automobiles, and as a fuel for cooking and heating in households. As you can see in the graph on the right, Worldwide natural gas consumption has been increasing on the left has been increasing for a year. There are a few reasons as to why this is happening, which I will discuss in the next slide. It's, it is estimated that there are 500 trillion cubic feet of gas that have yet to be removed from the earth. The industrial price of natural gas is currently at around five dollars per thousand cubic feet. So a rough estimation shows that there are about two and a half trillion dollars worth of natural gas still to be tapped. The price of natural gas fluctuates dramatically throughout the year, but as a trend, it's increased greatly over the last century. The numbers prove that it's an incredibly, incredibly lucrative industry with a lot of untapped value. Interestingly, contributions to, Senate, to the Senate and House of Representative campaigns by companies that extract natural gas have increased over four times since 2004 in states where natural gas is a large industry. These economic trends show that natural gas is an energy sector that will continue to grow in the upcoming years. One of the main concerns involving the production of natural gas is the method by which it's extracted called fracking. Fracking in the United States uses a tremendous amount of water, about 72 trillion gallons, combined with chemicals, about 360 gallon, billion gallons worth, in order to remove the natural gas from the shale rock that it's contained in. The concern is that chemical contaminants escape from the wells and harm the environment. Because fracking is still in its early stages, there's not enough evidence to say that it does or doesn't greatly impact the environment. A known concern, though, of burning methane is that the emissions is the emissions that it releases. The average emission for natural gas fire generation is 1,135 pounds of carbon dioxide per megawatt hour. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. Lastly. Natural gas is a non-renewable energy source. Too much dependence on a non-renewable energy could, prevent pro could present problems in the future when those non-renewable sources run out. Even though there are known risks of natural gas, it's still a great source of energy. Just under a quarter of our nation's electric power comes from burning natural gas, and it heats over half of our households. Also, a growing number of automobiles are using natural gas as fuel. On a mass basis, methane has the most energy of any fossil fuel. <clears throat> Although natural gas is a fossil fuel and releases greenhouse gases, it's relatively clean compared to other fossil fuel sources. It releases the least amount of carbon dioxide per unit of energy and has practically no inorganic waste. As of 2008, Natural gas production supported over 2.8 million jobs, and by 2035, it's estimated to add more than 1.4 million to that total. 
Economically, it's a good fuel source because we have such a large supply in our own country. The price of any fuel source that we don't have to import is much less susceptible to the unpredictability of the global market, which offers stability to consumers. A nation as large as the United States requires a very large amount of energy. Ideally, Ideally, we'd obtain that energy from sources that don't harm the environment and are sustainable. But currently, and in the near future, fossil fuels are needed to meet our energy demands. Compared to other fossil fuels, natural gas is one of the cleanest options, and there happens to be an abundance of it available to us domestically. Economic trends show that natural gas production will only increase. This has led to and will lead to advancements in cleaner burning methods, extraction methods, and technological advancements in exploration for new sources. The future of natural gas seems to be one that's on the rise, and hopefully it can be a fuel source that allows us to transition from, one, from a country that obtains energy from fossil fuels to one that uses cleaner, sustainable sources. Thank you.